So here's how you can tell uh, that he doesn't like JD Vance. He had two tells. One I think is clear and you'll agree with me. The other one is just speculation. Tucker Carlson spoke at the RNC. He spoke mostly about Donald Trump, but he talked a little bit about JD Vance. Anna Kasparian and Cenk Uger, the Young Turks, covered this live. And they believe that Tucker Carlson does not like J.D. Vance. We're going to take a look at some clips here to break down why Anna Kasparian and Jink Uger believe that, that Tucker Carlson does not like J.D. Vance. A father's job, his duty is to his family. An officer's duty is to his men. A president's duty is to his citizens. And he seems to be the only one who thinks that. And in his choice for vice president, J.D. Vance, he's made that really clear. <laughs> J.D. Vance, I'll say this about him, is a thoroughly decent man, and I'll just admit it, a friend of mine, one of the very few politicians in Washington who actually is very close to his own wife, which is wonderful to see. And she's wonderful, actually. He doesn't like J.D. Vance. But J.D. Vance... Has That's my guess. I'm not, I don't know. Closer that. to Trump's voters than but anyone else. He doesn't else like Trump. Washington we know he doesn't like Trump based on private Therefore, communications that were made public as a result of that democracy. defamation lawsuit. I think so his tell is him point. closing his and eyes is, when he's and shaking his head as he says months. whatever he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Since the debate. Okay, so that's really the only part of the speech where Tucker Carlson actually talks about J.D. Vance. And I wouldn't pretend to be an expert on body language, but this is a pretty common body language tell that people close their eyes when they're lying or not telling the truth. And so Anna Kasparian and Cenk Uger point that out there, but they also say a bit more about this after the speech. Okay, so now back uh, to what he said about J.D. Vance. So here's how you can tell uh, that he doesn't like J.D. Vance. He had two tells. One I think is clear and you'll agree with me. The other one is just speculation. The uh, the clear one is he said he was pretending that he was really friend. He literally said, "I'm friends with him," right? Mm -hmm. But he started by saying, "JD Vance, I'll say this." Now that's when you say something about someone you don't normally like. But I'll say this about them, right? That's <laughs> his tell. Why would you start that way? I wouldn't say with Anna Kasparian. Well, I'll say this about her. That yeah, that's was, true. I'd be like, well, what do you mean? Well, what do you mean? Y'all say just this about them? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Why does he, and and in my opinion, uh, not like JD Vance? Because JD Vance is a direct competitor for the populist lane 100%. in the Republican Party. 100%. Tucker Carlson was hoping to take over for Donald Trump. He wanted that lane. Yeah. And now JD Vance owns that lane. So Tucker's got to be super bitter about it. And remember, Tucker is a completely different person off air than he is on air. So off air, he hates these guys. He hates Donald Trump. I mean, he we hates, know it based yeah. on his text messages to producers at Fox News, which were uh, uncovered through the discovery process in that defamation suit. Yeah. So, and if you notice, he didn't actually say anything complimentary about JD Vance other than he has a wife that loves him. And I was like, oh, that's such a good point. I was like, that's the best you got on JD Vance. No compliments on policy, no compliments on courage or that's anything along those lines, right? So I know Tucker. I know when he's I know when he's gonna make the turn. Literally, I said it during the speech, watch, here comes the turn, right? Yes. Yeah. And I know which way he's leaning based on how he tells the lie, how he tells the story, right? So the one that was a little bit speculative is the one I mentioned during the speech, which is um, when he, I think his tell is when he closes his eyes. So every time he says something that nice about, he didn't say it about Trump. And we know he in the past, he hated Trump. And we're sure I'm positive he still does. But he's so used to lying about Trump, right? I mean, he's done it thousands of times about how much he loves him, et cetera, when he absolutely hates him. But with JD Vance, he could barely contain himself. So whenever he mentions something nice about JD Vance, he closes his eyes like this. He like squinted like JD Vance is a really good guy. <laughs> so that was speculative. I don't know if that's like I have to see it a bunch of times before I said yeah definitively. But I did notice that was the only time he squinted and closed his eyes during note speech. It's a good way of disassociating. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Although I shouldn't give away his tell. I should let him keep squinting his eyes. I hope he doesn't watch this. Now Anna Kasparian and Jenk Uger make some good points here, I think, about Tucker Carlson. 
this is the thing about politicians and political pundits. You are never going to know what their real views are on anything. And I don't care if it's left or right, Democrat, Republican. They all do this. Somebody can be their worst enemy yesterday and today they're their best friend because it's all about power. This is so much of this is theater. It's professional wrestling. We're going to take a look here about what Anna Kasparian and Jenk Uger alluded to. These text messages with Tucker Carlson about what he apparently really believes about Donald Trump or believed at one time. So this is from the BBC. This is from back. This is from back in 2020 when lawsuits were happening. Uh, Fox News was being sued for defamation by the Dominion voting systems. So all of these text messages from Tucker Carlson to other people within Fox came out. And this showed at least what Tucker Carlson thought about Donald Trump at the time. So one of them said, we are very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights, Tucker Carlson wrote in a text sent on January 4th, 2021. I truly can't wait. I hate him passionately. He also said, that's the last four years. We're all pretending we've got a lot to show for it because admitting what a disaster it's been is too tough to to digest. But come on, there isn't really an upside to Trump. So these appear to be the real, you know, if you say about somebody, I hate him passionately, there's not a lot of gray area on that. But again, Tucker Carlson is a media figure, a political media figure. And just like politicians, he's going to say whatever is going to bring him the most power, the most notoriety, the most eyeballs and views. And we've got the same thing with J.D. Vance. He was a never Trumper, was a few just a few years ago, was very against Trump. Now he's his vice presidential candidate. So this is just how politics works. Let's take a look at this here real quick. This is from Axios, and they have a quote from Tucker Carlson, who spoke apparently directly to Axios. Uh, It says, Carlson, who has a primetime speaking slot at the convention, told us the logic for Vance is, quote, that he doesn't secretly hate Trump as all the rest of them do. He fundamentally agrees with Trump. That's precisely why neocon donors who want more aid for Ukraine fear him. So he's saying, Tucker Carlson is saying, J.D. Vance doesn't secretly hate Trump. Maybe he doesn't secretly hate Trump. J.D. Vance is saying that in the past, when he was against Trump, <clears throat> and was a never trumper. He says that he JD Vance says that he was manipulated by the media and he's since learned what a great guy Donald Trump is. Eh, maybe he really believes that now, but also he is the vice presidential candidate and if Trump and him get reelected then he's just one step away from the presidency. And again, all of these politicians, left or right, Democrat, Republican, I don't care what team you're on, they would all sell out their own mothers and their own grandmothers for more power. Tucker Carlson, J.D. Vance can hate Donald Trump yesterday, and now he's their best friend. And I think Anna Kasparian, again, it's completely speculation. They aren't experts on body language, but they point out a couple, Anna Kasparian and Jenk Uger point out a couple of tells here with, Tucker Carlson in his speech, and I really think that where he's closing his eyes while he's saying good things about J.D. Vance, that seems fairly obvious. But what do you think? Do you really think that Tucker Carlson and J.D. Vance like each other, that they're good buddies? Do you think that Tucker Carlson truly likes Donald Trump, or does he just view Trump as a way to further his own career? Maybe Tucker Carlson could be vice president or president someday. If you like this content, make sure to give me a like and subscribe. Make sure to comment. All of this helps me to grow the channel. Let me know what you think about this video, Tucker Carlson, Anna Kasparian, Jink Uger, and I'll see you in the next one.